Once a raider, bruh, always a raider, bruh Shit, simple as that, you look silver and black A lot of red invested in that old line Corn insurance cost all the what is going on Raider Nation? What is going on? It is your boy Darian coming to you live with another video. It is the Spotlight Raiders Talk. Shout out to all the subscribers that have subscribed to the YouTube page. And this is your first time ever being at our YouTube page. I would suggest that you subscribe and hit the bell button and get the latest news and all Raiders news. But we're back here with another preview video. And we know we're still getting off that Atlanta Falcons, that Atlanta Falcons actual loss in week 12. It was really bad. And I'm happy to finally get over it and move on to this week 13 preview against the New York Jets. Now, I have to say, knowing that the Las Vegas Raiders is coming up a real bad loss going into this game. But I see that this game is not going to be a guarantee either, knowing that we are going into six and five going back into metlife stadium where it seemed like everything is going back to what happened last year we were six and five when we went into the new york jets last year and we got blown out of the water i was at that game it was a bad game for my first ever raiders game i was not really intended to like to turn out to be that way but let's get straight into some facts about this game here. Now, we know the Las Vegas Raiders are 6-5 and five and the Jets are 0-11. The game will be played at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So, if you do want to be here for the live play-by-play -play and reactions of the game, make sure you hit the subscribe button, turn on all notifications for you so you can get this live stream of this game. The overall series of this matchup is... The Raiders lead 25-20-2. That is the series record with the, uh, the New York Jets. The last meeting that we did go up against these guys was against the Jets in their 34-3 on November 24, 2019. Worst game I ever bought tickets for, and I'm happy that that is over. But last week, the Raiders did lose to the Falcons 43-6, and the Jets lost to the Dolphins. 20 to 3. Now we do have to know that the Raiders are ranked 15th and the Jets are ranked number 32 in when it comes to power rankings. Now the Raiders offense, I can say that we do rank 17th, which is not too bad at all. We rank 17th in the league, you know, eight, you know, eight um, rushing when it comes to that and passing as well with 19. We rank 19th. So we talk about like in the top 20 when it comes to our offense. Our defense is just is, is not as bad, but it's bad. Our Raiders defense is overall 22nd. Our rushes, we, we actually 13th in Russia and we're against the pass in 27. That's bottom of the barrel, but we do have to get better there as well. So the Jets offense, I can see this. Jets offense is ranked 32, 26 in a rush, um, 32 in the pass. Now, if, if I'm the Raiders defense, we have to take advantage of this. Knowing that this team is, is just ranked at the bottom of the barrel in all statistics when it comes to the Jets. We cannot let up and we have to play with some sense of urgency if we want to win this game. It is just defense. Knowing that our Raiders offense is ranked in the top 20, we have to take advantage of the Jets defense. Knowing they're ranked 28th overall and they're 11th against the rush and they're 30th against the pass. So if this offense of Line can block with Derek Carr and he can get it to the weapons. I will be sure for a fact that the Raiders will come out with this win. But it's a little bit of you know some notes that we do have to say here as well, knowing that the Raiders lost six straight road games against the Jets since the 34 to 13 win back in 1996. Now the Raiders are coming off their most lopsided loss at since losing 52 to 0 to the Rams back in 2014. But Las Vegas quarterback Derek Carr is committed a worse uh, a worse I, I don't know like the worst four turnovers of his career last week in my opinion Carr fumbled eight times in the last 17 sacks this actual season now the Raiders had the season worst 11 penalties for 141 yards and last week lost to the Atlanta Falcons now Las Vegas Raiders had nine turnovers in the first 100 drives of this season and then six in a span of 12 drives starting the final drop of week 11 
against the Kansas City Chiefs with at least five turnovers, five sacks, and less than 50 yards rushing in that game in the third time in franchise history of last week. We have some players that we really need to stick out for when we want to go to this win. Now, Hunter Renfro does match a career high with seven catches last week for 73 yards and leads the Las Vegas Raiders wide receiver with 38 catches and 509 yards this season. But we still had to figure out this, though. We have to win this game, even though all this Sam Darnold struggling and Frank Gore uh, ran for his season high for 74 yards and eight carries. But at the end of the day, we still have to play with some type of surge of soul searches, some energy, some sense of urgency, knowing that the Baltimore Ravens lost yesterday on Wednesday. So that's put us back in the eighth spot. So we have to come out and win this game and turn to seven and four. And then we still have to go play the Colts and Miami, knowing they have two of those wild card spots so far. So if I am the Las Vegas Ravens, I would not take this game lightly. I don't care if they are 11 in 0 or 0 and 11. We still have to take this game home, knowing that the Jets are 0 and 6. They are 0 and 6 at home. Even though we have not really did well in MetLife Stadium, we have to come out, play fast, and not play conservative football. We cannot play conservative football going into this game because the Jets are still looking for their first win and they're going to do whatever it takes for them to get their first win of the year. Knowing that we did lost to the Atlanta Falcons last week, I can't understand that. But how I feel is Raiders, like I said in my reaction Monday, you got to play with some heart. We did not have no heart in the Atlanta Falcons game whatsoever. And I feel like we, we heard the press conference of Derek Carr said it was a bad week of preparation during the Atlanta Falcons. But John Gruden disagrees and other players disagree. So is it any fraction when it comes to the Las Vegas Raiders? I don't see any fraction. I think Derek Carr just felt the way that he was just a little bit out of a, out of a funk all, all week. I guess because he did have... His daughter, congratulations to that as well. But that's enough for the case. At the end of the day, hope Derek Carr moves on from that game and try to play a better game at MetLife Stadium. Mind you, we don't play well on the East Coast, but we got to play well if we want to make a playoff push, at least some type of wild card. I know we're not winning the division at the end of the day. I know that. But at least be second in our division and try to get a wild card spot. So the, the road to the playoffs start now if I am the Las Vegas Raiders. And it starts with the New York Jets. And now start checking these games off once we start winning these games. But I feel like Derek Carr is going to get this offense rolling. You know, I don't know what's going on with Josh Jacobs as of right now. They're saying, should we sit him? Should we start him? I, I mean, I don't care. If it's 0-11, Josh Jacobs need to play in some sort. Do he need to give up a little bit of his snaps? Yes. Give him a little bit of his snaps, in my personal opinion, and get Devontae Booker and Theo Riddick, and probably we get Jalen Rashard back as well. Get them guys involved. At the end of the day, Theo Riddick's coming up from the practice squad. We don't know if Josh Jacobs is going to play. In other news, just to let y'all know that Malik Collins is on the injured reserve list as of right now, knowing that Malik Collins have not played well, all year for the Las Vegas Raiders that he has been put on IR. Now, when it comes to Trent Brown's situation, Trent Brown is, is a possibility that we might have him back and clean and feral. We might have him back as well coming up in this game against the Jets. They really had some serious COVID-19 um, symptoms, so that's why it took them so long to get off that reserve list. So hopefully we can possibly have both of those guys back to help this defense and to help our offensive line to win this game now when it comes to Corey Littleton what's going to happen with Corey Littleton knowing that Nicholas Morrow has been outplaying him how do y'all feel about that Raider Nation let me know in the comments how y'all feel about Corey Littleton playing, playing a little bit more outside instead of inside and put Nicholas Morrow on the inside in my personal opinion but I do love the advantage that we have against our offense versus their defense. Now, if we can get the running game going with the line that we have, we can establish the time of possession. In the last two games, the last two games, which was the Chiefs and the Falcons, they flipped the script on us and used our time of possession and kept our offense off the field just to do the same thing to us. And we couldn't put no points up 
against the Atlanta Falcons, but we did put the points up against the Kansas City Chiefs, but I think we scored a little bit too fast, in my personal opinion. So now, you got to get Waller involved, get these receivers involved, the offensive line has to block, but the defense is the key for me of this game. That is the key matchup, the Raiders defense versus the Jets offense. We cannot allow this team to score at least 20 points. 20 points or more. This offense as has been as abysmal. They don't have no real weapons. I mean, they do have Crowder over there and Frank Gore, but I'm not really too scared of that. So if our offense can score points and our defense can get to Sam Darnold in this defense, we will definitely come out with the win. But I think we do come out with the win here. And here is my final prediction and my final score. And my final score will be 30 to 17. Raiders bounce back, improve to seven and five, and get on this road to the playoffs. But let me know what y'all think about this video, Raider Nation. Let me know what y'all think. I do have the Raiders winning. 30 to 17, making sure they bounce back off of a bad loss and get ready for this playoff push. Let me know what you think, Raider Nation. Comment, like, and subscribe to the channel. It's the Spotlight Raiders Talk, and I will see y'all in the next video. Peace.